Hello and welcome to our demo. Protect your firewall, protect your business. The security triad. Most people in the security industry know this as the CIA triad. Confidentiality, integrity, availability. You need all three to protect your environment. And historically, the firewall has been reserved for confidentiality. But the firewall is under stress. It's being asked to do much more than it was originally designed to do. Not only in policy enforcement, but also antivirus and anti-spyware protection. VPN termination and network address translation, URL filtering, sandboxing, and yes, even DDoS protection. But as you'll see, a firewall is not designed to stop DDoS attacks. That's mainly because there's many different types of DDoS attacks. Starting in the lower right-hand corner, application layer attacks. These are very low and slow attacks. They don't violate any protocol rules or anything. It's very difficult for a firewall to even detect these. Volumetric attacks. This is normally what people think of when they think of a DDoS attack. These attacks are designed to saturate internet-facing circuits. And last but not least, TCP state exhaustion attacks. These attacks target stateful devices like firewalls, load balancers, VPN concentrators, because they are very susceptible to these sorts of attacks. And it really boils down to this simple idea of stateful versus stateless packet processing or protection. The fact is you need both. Stateful inspection, also known as dynamic pack filtering, is the technology that's in our latest next-gen firewalls and IDPS and things like that. It monitors the state of known active connections. That means all decisions are made by looking at these active connections going through the firewall. These connections are pinned up in what's called a state table. And there's these state tables are finite size. Stateless inspection, on the other hand, doesn't have any concept of active connections or state tables. It makes its decision uh, on a per packet basis, either it's allowed in or denied. Each has its strengths and weaknesses, but when you see when it comes to DDoS protection, stateless is the preferred method. So the simple facts about firewalls, they're not designed to provide DDoS protection. In fact, they're part of the threat service. Every year we conduct a survey, ask a question about whether or not firewalls have failed during uh, DDoS attacks. 83% of this year's surveys indicated yes, that is absolutely what happened. Firewalls are not good blocking devices uh, in, in particular because they don't provide you a lot of information or context about what is being blocked and why especially when it comes to DDoS attacks. And if you really dig in deep enough, the firewall vendors themselves will ultimately say that their devices are not designed for comprehensive DDoS protection. And they recommended, they recommend dedicated DDoS protection solutions like NetScout's Arbor Edge Defense. Arbor Edge Defense is a stateless packet processing device. It sits inside the router, in front, stateful devices like firewalls, load balancers, VPN concentrators, etc. And there it protects not only those devices from DDoS attacks, namely state exhaustion attacks, but also other types of DDoS attacks too. Volumetric, up to the size of the internet circuit, application later, etc. So in this demonstration, we're going to show you how Arbor Edge Defense can protect a firewall from a state exhaustion attack. So here's our demo environment. We have a fictitious um, network set up. On the left side is uh, the internet router. We're going to call it the enterprise perimeter. Outside that perimeter uh, is a uh, botnet that's going to launch a pretty small TCP SYN flood attack, about 150 megabits per second. Inside the perimeter, on the right-hand side of that perimeter, there's a public-facing web server. You'll see uh, the IP address 172.16.2.3. Just before the web server is a firewall. This is only a 2 gigabits per second firewall, just to match our, our small environment here. In front of that firewall 
is an Arbor Edge Defense device. And what you'll see is the attacker will launch an attack uh, targeting the web facing or the public facing web server. And what, you, what you'll see is the um, firewall will start failing. In fact, we'll be looking at certain vital signs. In the upper left hand corner, we're looking at active connections going through the firewall. In the lower left hand corner, you see the client outside of that router just running a simple ping to the application server or the HTTP server inside the firewall. And then that same client is doing a simple HTTP request to a file called index.html. And we'll see the, the success or failure of that. So make note of these, this screen here once we start our demonstration. So let's get started. All right. So here's the vital screens I was telling you about. Notice up here in the left-hand corner, there are approximately 12 or so active connections going through the firewall. So it's just normal connections. Down on the lower left-hand side, you notice this is ping from the client. And we're about, you know, uh, one milliseconds or so. And on the right-hand side, here's the HTTP request for the index, the HTML file that's, that's um, downloading properly 100% uh, of the time. So we know everything is working properly at this point. Inside the Arbor Edge Defense main console, we're in what's called an inactive mode. That means we're, we are not blocking, actively blocking any, any traffic whatsoever at this point. And what we can see, there's approximately about, you know, 2.5 kilobits per second of traffic flowing through uh, the AD device, through the firewall, and communicating with the uh, actual web server itself. Uh, so, but what we're going to do now is actually turn up the volume. We are now going to launch a TCP SYN attack. And the first thing you notice is that the active connections ramp up dramatically to about 15,000 connections many or just about 99% of them are illegitimate connections. Now in the lower left hand corner you see the ping response time has increased dramatically uh, from under one millisecond to over 309 milliseconds. On the right hand side of the screen you see that the activity has ceased as well. What you see is the um, HTTP request for the index.html file has stopped altogether. Basically the communication to the web server has failed at this point. And uh, this is all due to the fact that the firewall state tables are, are saturated and or uh, the, the firewall is having trouble uh, dealing with this TCP state exhaustion attack. So let's take a look at Arbor Edge Defense. Once again, as a reminder, we are in what's called an inactive mode, meaning that we are not actively blocking the attract traffic, but we're showing you what we would have blocked if we were in an active mode. And what this is showing here, highlighted in red, um, is the recognition or detection of the TCP SYN flood attack. Right now, the, um, the AD saw it as about a 50 megabits per second DDoS attack. Let us uh, just kind of let the screen age out a little bit here. All right. So now what we're seeing is that we're seeing actually a 150 megabits per second um, TCP SYN flood attack occurring. And again, we're not blocking it because we're in this inactive mode, but we're showing you what we would have blocked. Let's say now you gain the confidence to block and you want to turn the Arbor Edge Defense into an active blocking mode. Essentially all that is, is a click of a button. So now we go up here, turn it from inactive to what's called active blocking mode. Now everything you're seeing here in red is actually being blocked by the Arbor Edge Defense device. So if we go back to our network uh, vital signs, right, um, what we can see here is the results of AD being put in front of that firewall. Uh, the 15,000 or so connections that were flowing through have been dropped and is down to under uh, 10 or so. We see the, the uh, ping response time is under a millisecond. And we see the active download uh, of the H index HTML file from that HTTP request. So... Arbor Edge Defense is doing its job. It's blocking the inbound TCP SYN attack, which is having an impact on the firewall, which is having an impact on the application server running behind it. So hopefully you can see the advantage of putting Arbor Edge Defense in front of the firewall to protect it and the resources behind it from failing. So 
So in conclusion, due to their stable architecture, firewalls were never designed to block DDoS attacks. Nesco Arbor Edge Defense, or AED, is a stateless protection solution that you put in front of your firewall to protect it and other stateful devices from DDoS attacks, which impact the availability of applications running behind them. For more information about AED or more detailed demo, please visit our website or contact your local NetScout sales representative. Thank you very much for your time.